Hi, my name is Kara, and it's been a while. I started my full-time job, and I started going in person, so I've been a little bit busier, and things have just been kind of really overwhelming, and so I've been kind of taking a break from YouTube. So now I'm back, and I'm ready to get back into telling you guys about all the things that I knit, because I have been knitting a lot. This is my pile of finished objects here, and I have yet to tell you about a lot of them, but I'll get to that. And I'm filming this like literally right before I go to work, so my face is a little bit puffy, and I'm a little out of sorts. But I will say that it has been really, really nice being able to go into the office and like see my coworkers in person. I Half of my team is remote and half is in New York, so it is still quite a bit virtual. Like I do have a bunch of virtual meetings, but just being able to go into the office and like have a desk and just like see people keeps me accountable. So now that I'm not just like sitting at my desk alone all day, I'm not knitting all the time, but I do bring in my knitting for the meetings. So I am going to be making a nail art inspired top. These are my nails and oh, there we go. There's the focus. <laughs> it's not focusing. Maybe if I do this. These are my nails and it is like a little bit of a nail sticker. So they painted my nails with gel and then they put the little stickers and they put some other top coat on top. So that's why they look so perfect. And so my nails are getting kind of long and it's, it's just growing out a bit and I really, really, really want to get my nails redone. But first I was like, you know, I think that this design's really cute and I really want to make a sweater because I have this red yarn, I have this white yarn and I don't know, let's just make a hard sweater. And you might ask, like, why did you make a sweater instead of a top this time? Because it's cold now and... I do, I really am enjoying the cold, but waking up in the morning and not being able to get out of bed is quite the new feeling. Because like, I don't turn the heater on super high at night because like, I don't like to sleep when it's hot, but I also don't like to wake up in the morning when it's cold, so like, yeah, and like my, my thermostat's here, my bed's over there, so it's like I can't reach it from bed, so I definitely have to get out of bed to adjust the thermostat. And you might also wonder like why a sweater instead of a cardigan and I'll honestly tell you it's because I did not think about it. Like I definitely could have made a cardigan but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and so I've already knit a little bit of a gauge swatch just to make sure that I can get the heart pattern down and it's a little lopsided. I don't really know. I'm just gonna go for it. I don't really feel like adjusting it. I'm just I'm gonna start knitting because I felt like I was on a time crunch because I thought that I could get a nail appointment on Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, but I couldn't get a nail appointment until Friday. So I don't know why I'm so stressed. So I have some time to do it, but I'm also thinking that this nail is going to break and it's going to drive me crazy because like I can see a little bit of a fracture and I've been seeing this fracture for like a few days now and like what I've been trying to do is like file out the fracture and just be like no 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 so this nail is a pretty strange shape because I've been like trying to like keep it from like breaking but I think it's gonna break within the next few days so like I'm racing against that but like I don't want to knit too hard because then I might break the nail but I'm stressed and I will be using Wool in the Gang Al Pacino Merino in Ivory White as the base of the heart and I'm also going to be using Wool Addicts Honor Yarn in red. I'll look it up and put it in the description as the base yarn. And it's this really cool, like, fluffy yarn that I got from Nitty City. And it's literally, like, my first yarn purchase in the city that I just, like, haven't used yet. And so now I finally get to use it. And I actually don't really knit with red that much because I think that red is a really, really, really pretty color. But I also find that I don't tend to wear it as much. But I think that if I make this sweater, I'll wear it a bunch because it's going to be really, really cute. I'm still playing around with the placement of the hearts. Like, I don't know if I'm going to do, like, just one heart in the middle. I don't know if I'm just going to do, like, two hearts, like, over the boobs. I don't know. I, I'm i figuring it out. What I do know is that I want to knit this sweater in the round. Because I'm tired of working things flat. Like, this last sweater here was worked flat. And I'm working on another cardigan, which obviously you have to knit flat because... It's a cardigan, so you have to have like an opening. It can't be knit entirely in the round. And I was also thinking that I'm going to knit this one bottom up because if I want to knit in the round, but also do intarsia, there's only one opportunity for me to do that, and that's like when you split for the front and the back panels. And I only know two other things. 
One is that I am for sure going to run out of yarn, so I'm gonna have to go to Nitty City to buy some more yarn. And this is gonna be an issue because I have very little to no self-control. And so when I go into Nitty City to buy some more of this yarn, I'm for sure gonna wanna buy more yarn. But I just cannot let myself, like I have no more room in my room. I went to a yarn crawl last weekend, and so I have no room left. Like just, I bought so much yarn because it was so fun. And I'm trying to stop buying yarn until I can get through some of it. But if I already know that I'm gonna run out of yarn and go to a yarn store to buy more of it, because I have to do this project, because in order to change my nails up, I have to finish this project first, but then I really, really want to change my nail because my nail might break. Anyways, I'm running out of yarn and I have little to no self-control, and so I have to go to a yarn store, and so I'm going to have to really control myself and not buy any more yarn. Another thing is that I really want to make my Halloween costume and so I have to look for yarn for that, but I might use the yarn that I have. The only thing is that it's like a Halloween costume and the yarn that I have in mind is very expensive. So I might look for a cheaper yarn, but then I'm buying more yarn. Yeah, it's, it's bad. And the other thing I know about this project is that I don't want to necessarily put designs on the back because I just feel like it should be a front-facing sweater so that the design is only on the front, so I don't want to do the intarsia on the back as well. Plus, this will help me figure out which side is the front and which way is the back because I don't have any labels. I know I definitely should. I should have gotten labels like well over a year ago and I just never have. And like, yeah, like, I just haven't made labels and I think that it's because I just haven't figured out like what my custom label will be and like, I don't know. I think it'll be easy because like my last name is like a verb. It's a gerund. It, it makes everything fun. Like the whole thing is like it's charismatic ing because my last name is pronounced ink. So like you could do so many things with ENG and like in the labels, but like maybe it's just too many options. But yes, I tend to not put labels on any of my sweaters. So you just literally have to hold it up and like look at to see which side is slightly lower and which side is higher to figure out which way is the front and which way is the back. And this is bad because I give a lot of sweaters to family members and friends and they can never tell which side is the front and which way is the back. And honestly, a lot of the time I can't either. And so I think that putting the design only on the front will really actually help me. And again, another solution to this is just to buy labels, but again, I really want them to be custom and I am super indecisive on what I want that custom message to be. So yeah, let's just get into it. Also, I will for sure be bringing my knitting into work because I am stressed about a deadline and I don't know why, like I can for sure finish a sweater by Friday. Okay, here we go. We are casting on something new. I've done the slip knot and now I'm just gonna do a cable cast on because I for sure do not have the energy to do long tail cast on right now because I am rushing before going to work. And that's fine. So we're just gonna do a cable cast on right now. Okay, I just got out of the shower because I am working from home today, so I worked out a bit, but there's been significant progress on the sweater. So I basically, Still super indecisive about what I wanted to do, so I finished the back and then I just left it for me to make a decision today. Yeah, and I'm for sure gonna run out of yarn for this one. But I'm really happy with how it's turning out right now. I really like this yarn. It's like, it sheds a little bit, I'll be honest. Like, I was knitting in bed last night and I don't know if it's staining or if it's just like a very, very fine, thin layer of like lint. But my white sheets are now a little bit pink. Anyways, I really like this yarn, and I'm definitely going to run out, so I have to make a trip to Nitty City today in the middle of my work day. Please don't tell my boss. But I have also come to the conclusion that I want to make two hearts, like, right over the boob. Just there and there. Because I think that'll be cute, and I don't want to just do a single heart, because I think that's, like, it'll probably match the nails more, but that's a little bit more boring. I think that if I were to write a pattern for this one, I would definitely include options for both, though. Or even, like, even three across as well. I don't want to do that much intarsia. But I think I'm gonna do two, just for fun. And I tend to bring my knitting into work with me just because I can and like, if there's like a lot of meetings and I don't necessarily need to take notes, I'll just knit during them. And so I've been bringing them in this little bag. And you can tell that this is my work bag because I have like my laptop charger cord in here too. And yeah, I just like knit at my desk and I feel like my coworkers take a look over like, what's she doing? It's like, oh, she's waiting for code to come out. She's knitting. Honestly, they don't care that much. But I like to think that. 
Okay, so I got the yarn and I was at Nitty City and I was super, super tempted to buy more yarn, but amazingly, I managed to control myself, even though look at all this. Okay, the extra yarn has been secured and now I can continue to knit without stressing. So let's do it. So I started the intarsia and it's kind of a mess, but it's coming along. And I have four balls of yarn, but five strands of working yarn and I'm just trying to get through it. And here I finally finished the intarsia and now we're just back to knitting a regular sweater so life should be easy from now on. Okay, I have just finished all the intarsia and this is how it's looking. It might be a little bit wide set but you know, I'm just gonna keep going and I'm not gonna redo it because I just don't have the energy to do so. But next to each other, oh my god, the slack just went off. I'm supposed to be working right now. Anyways, it was so difficult to do intarsia with this type of yarn because like it's really, it's like sticky to itself. So all of these strands of the red would get really, really stuck together and then it would kind of create like these balls of like lint and fuzz. So you have to kind of like rip it, but you don't know what's necessarily like the yarn itself and like what's the, just the fluff. But I got through it and that's why I'm not going to be redoing this. But in the pattern, if I write a pattern, which I probably am because I really like this, I would make this less wide set. <laughs> okay. I'm trying it on and the hearts are a little high. Um, that's all right. I'm just gonna add a neckline I think next. And you know, you can tell that they're hearts at least. Yeah, this is what happens the very first time I ever make a pattern. Like there are all sorts of things that are just a teensy tiny bit off. But I'm happy that you can see the hearts. I'm glad that it, the body is done and now I just need to figure out what the neckline will be. I'm kind of vibing with a folded over neckline, don't know why, because I really don't want to do more ribbing in this yarn. Like it, it turns out fine, it's just like, I'm not really in the mood for it for some reason. But neckline next, and it looks like it's going to be kind of a scoop neck, I don't know. Maybe I can block it better? Maybe I should do the sleeves first? I don't know, it's, it's a little, everything's a little bit weird. But that's okay, I'm gonna keep on doing this because I've committed to it and I need to finish it. I took a little break to do some laundry, actually code some things because I am working from home today. And now I just picked up the stitches for the neckline and I'm working on it. And the beauty of a folded over neckline is that you don't have to do ribbing on the side that's folded inside. So I'm looking forward to that because for some reason I just really don't like doing ribbing with this yarn. I think it's because it doesn't have that much stretch, so it's a little more difficult. I don't know, I'm just not really vibing with that, but I am doing ribbing on the outside. So the part that you can see when it's folded outwards will be ribbing. And so that's taking me some time. But yeah, I posted the sweater on my story and people were like, kind of looks like Minnie Mouse. So even though it's not how I envisioned it, and it's a bit higher, I am going to continue because I just need to finish it and my nail appointment's literally tomorrow so I have to finish it by tomorrow. But I'm also releasing a bunch of patterns tomorrow so I have to do a bunch of pattern prep tonight. But it'll get done. I will stay up really late if I have to. It'll get done. Okay, I have just finished the uh, collar and I have finished weaving in all the ends, at least the ones that I've made so far. It took me forever. There were so, so, so many to clean up. And now I'm just going to try it on because the last time I did a folded over collar like this made it way too small so I can- oh, that was easy. Okay. Okay. I'm actually really liking how this is turning out. Alright, now it's just the sleeves and then we're good to go. Also, like, I realized that I just have this giant pile of sweaters in the corner and you'll probably see this sweater in that corner soon too. Okay, it is Friday. It is around one o'clock, I have a nail appointment at 3.30, and I finished one sleeve, and I'm about halfway through the other. We're so, so close, and I'm like stressed because I have some meetings today, so hopefully I can hit during them, but I'm cutting it pretty close. It is done. I finished it in my last meeting. I have another meeting to run to. 
but I am done. And there's no more stress anymore because I finally finished the top. I did another nail art inspired top. It's been a while since I've done this. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's not exactly like how I pictured it. That's my fault. I should have known. I should have definitely... Like, I did swatch before. I definitely swatched before because I have this. But I just didn't really think it through and I didn't think about the placement enough. I just started going. And that's okay. Like, I'll just make another one in the future and I am pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's cute. It's a little more subtle. I could probably wear this one to work now, so that's great. And I'm really happy with it. Like, again, it's not perfect, but I really like the folded over collar because the last time I did the folded over collar, again, like, I couldn't get it over my head. This one I can get over my head. It was super chill. I, I liked working with this yarn. Obviously, I work with the Al Pacino Merino all the time, but the Wool Addicts Honor yarn, like, I'd never worked with it before. It is kind of expensive because it was, like, $20 per skein, but I would definitely work with it again. I have a bunch left over. Like, I have a full skein and maybe, like, a quarter left over. So I now have to brainstorm things to do with that because I want to use it up because it was $20 per skein. And it's a pretty it's pretty easy for me to get more because it's just at Nitty City, which is about my, like, local yarn store. But yeah, really happy with how this turned out. This will probably be my most worn nail art-inspired, like, sweater just because, like, it's super chill, like it's not a teeny tiny little top. I can just like wear it to work, I can wear it around the city, it's cold now. And like it's red, it's cute. And I really like the shade of red. Like I don't really knit with red that much, but I'm really glad that I went with red with this one instead of doing like a white and a red. Also because I've had this yarn for a while, like it was the first yarn that I ever bought in the city and I just haven't used it for a month and a half and it's just been like sitting out and I've been staring at it for a while, so I'm glad I got to use it. But yeah, I will definitely be writing a pattern for this one just because like I really like it. I think that I'll have like options that you can just do like a single heart in the middle. You can put the hearts lower. I think that if you did want to put the hearts lower, you would have to seam it because this is technically seamless because I knit it bottom up. But I think that you would have to knit it flat in order to put the hearts a little bit lower because otherwise like it's just too high. And that's okay. I personally would want to make it seamless so I'll probably do a single heart for my next one just to try it out but yeah but yes i keep on getting pulled into different meetings but fortunately the sweater is done i'm pretty happy with it again i'll be making more in the future me and what time i don't know i've been having some difficulty kind of balancing my knitting like in designing life with my work life with like my social life but hopefully things will be better now like i'm starting to ramp up in my job a little bit so i think i just need to structure my day better so that like i am working the nine to five because it's hard for me to wake up and I am working remotely so I could like not go into the office but like it's a little bit more fun to work in the office like you get to see people you get to see your coworkers and your teammates <sighs> so yeah I'm figuring that out but it's good to get back into knitting and kind of start working on a deadline it was a little bit stressful to be like I need to get my nails done oh like I have to get a nail appointment when that works with my work schedule that makes it a lot harder to get a nail appointment whenever I want and then I have to knit a top based on that deadline because it's not easy to change that appointment because again, you're working within the confines of like a regular nine to five job. And hopefully this pattern will be out soon. There's my slack, oops, there you go. And yeah, now I'm getting pulled back into work and my nail appointment's in like 30 minutes. So I need to work until then. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Happy knitting and see ya.